Sorry, Pioneer fans, here in the uh, post-game press conference with uh, head coach of the Pioneers, Coach Mike Keller. Coach, uh, first off, congratulations on a 24-14 win yeah. over the uh, Cardinals. Talk a little bit about this uh, victory. You know, we're down playing a team that's 0-8 that everyone assumes you're going to beat and tried to warn the team all week that, one, they're still playing hard, two, they got some skill, and, and three, we ain't that good. I mean, we got we to gotta keep improving, you know, from where we're at to where we want to go, just like everyone does. But, uh, you know, we'll give the kids some credit when they're down 14 nothing to an 0-8 team. You could really fold up shop, and they found a way to – find that intestinal fortitude to, to make it work. Talk a little bit about, like you said, going in halftime, trailing 14-0. What did, what did you and the coaching staff kind of say to those guys to, to come out with that motivation? And we said a lot half? of things. <laughs> <laughs> we said a lot of things. But, no, truthfully, if you really looked at it, we weren't playing that bad. You know, we drove the ball down there. We had a fluke fumble with Seth on a belly play that they pick up and score, and that makes it 14-0 them. And then we get the ball with four and a half minutes to go. We go right back down the field to score and felt like we had a good play that was going to score. Felt looked like it did score from where I, from my vantage point, but obviously it didn't. And and then you're going, well, you're down 14 nothing. but the truth of the matter is you're supposed to be at 14-7. The biggest thing that I told them is your sense of urgency and your execution needs to be good because – your, your your possessions have shortened. You went from 14 or 12 possessions to now six or seven possessions, if you're lucky, in the second half. So uh, they, they you know, we, we came out and got the pick and then go down and get a field goal, and, then, and that kind of got us started. I was going to say, how big was, was Hood? This is eighth interception for the year. He takes it 35 yards back to the to the end zone uh, for the first score. How big was that, you know, coming Oh, it was really good. Well, I mean, we get the pick. Uh, DeAndre Brown gets the pick, and we go down and get a uh, get a you know field goal out of it, which we thought we had a touchdown to to Javon, and it was evidently his foot was out of bounds, and and we kick it makes it uh, what's that make it 14-3, and then we hold him score 14-10, and while I'm over making adjustments, he picks it. Now we got the lead. So when you got the lead in that situation, now all the panic can be on their sideline for a little bit. Also, we talked earlier with Mario, uh, had a great day on the ground, 19 carries, 152 yeah. yards, a touchdown, averaged eight yards a carry. Talk a little bit about Mario and, and the offensive line's progression this week. Yeah, Mar I mean, Mario's, you know, he's as good as it gets. He's been beat up. He really came to camp, you know, just, just all season. I would love to have coached Mario, you know, for a period of health and to really see what he could do. I mean, we're kind of nursing through this thing at the end. Some of those plays were running it's just because – you know, we, I told him, I said, you, listen, you guys stay in here just so they think you could get the football. <laughs> and then, you know, then the line, I mean, any time you're playing all them freshman linemen and you're not really putting up great numbers, those guys get scrutinized. And it's really not fair and it's not accurate. I mean, it's a lot of the time it's, you know, the skill guy messed up or the ball didn't go where it's supposed to or the tight end didn't get his block or the fullback. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. They've got their share of blame and they got to, and, and we're coaching them, you know, uh, when they mess up. But but it's not all line. So it's good to see a good rushing game where those are and can get some credit. All right, Coach. Well, again, congratulations. Scored 24 unanswered points there in the second half to, yeah, we uh, need them all too. <laughs> to, to defeat the Cardinals. With Mario Pender uh, after a victorious 24-14 win over the uh, Wheeling University Cardinals, Mario uh, finished with 152 yards, one touchdown on 19 carries. Talk a little bit about this game and uh, the win today. Uh, yeah, we came out as a team, you know, uh, we wanted to pick it back off one another. Um, offense, defense, and special teams all the way together. Uh, we just got uh, momentum. Once we got the momentum on our side, we went to rolling, and uh, things just went to going our way. You know, talk a little bit about, you know, a young offensive line up front, but they really, you know, have kind of progressed each week, opening up running lanes for you and, and the rest of the running back. Talk a little bit about the offensive line and their work during the, during, uh, the practice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, being back there in the backfield, you know, and, and being behind those guys and watching them grow, it's been a wonderful experience for me uh, to see those guys, you know, come from week one to what, week nine, where we're at now, and to see the holes they're opening up for for the backs now is just it's just amazing. You know, they're getting coached by one of the best coaches in the in the country, and uh, they're starting to take you know they're starting to get it and uh, take it into consideration that you know this is what they have to do uh, techniques, and they're they're just starting to finish, and uh, that's what we need. Talk a little bit about what Coach Keller said at halftime uh, you know you guys go in halftime trailing 14 nothing talk a little bit about the motivation there to, to come out in the second half and score 24 unanswered points right uh it really wasn't uh more as motivation uh it was just you know we weren't doing what we what glenville do you know we came out we were doing our own things you know being individuals and uh we just had to put it together you know and come to come as a team and and and, and do our assignment and that's all we had to do 
Mario, well, again, uh, congratulations on the victory. Enjoy this it. one uh, as we get ready uh, to head up to Notre Dame. I agree. All right. That was Mario Pender, the Pioneers Offensive Player of the Week this week in a 24-14 victory over the Wheeling University Cardinals. Go Pioneers.